we will start with file management in C. So this is file management in C. So what it means? So till now we have seen that we take data input output from the user using scanf and output the data using printf so they, these are two both for the console and we know that in the console the output is not permanent so we cannot store anything there so that's why we need something some permanent storage and for that we have files so files can be stored permanently on the computer on your storage devices and what we can do is we can read those files later we can write in those files we can append in those files of course we have to open the file for reading and writing appending and then closing the file these are the some of the basic operations that we have to do and all of this come under the input output category so we will look at some of the major functions so for opening of file so we have f open then for closing the file so i want to close the file i have written everything so f close we use then get c put c so these are for writing characters and reading characters f print f and f scan f so these are for writing and reading into the file f seek is also a very important function f tell is important and then rewind so we will see all these things so why we use it so first let's come to why why is file handling necessary suppose i want to read ask all the students in my class their names their roll numbers and their marks in my subject so what will happen is that i will have a table like name roll number and then marks so what happens now is let's say i write first is john his roll number is 100 marks he got 98 then it's sam whose roll number is 101 he got 99 and vidisha who got roll number is 105 she got 91 so if i have to record these things i can do the print of of all this information on the output console but that is not stored permanently and if i switch off my computer i will be losing that data so i will write that into i will open say marks dot txt file i can either write manually in the text file all these data or i can use the program to do it automatically for me so it can read these lines from the file then it can even write the fourth one and so on so this is where we need file handling so let's say we have so what happened is let's say now this is the text file i stored next i want to append i say that okay jack is the new person i corrected his paper his roll number is 109 he got 85 then i might want to correct some marks so i can go here and say that okay i somehow got this marks wrong 
so it was 81 so this way I can correct something so next thing is again I can append I can come here and say Adam so his roll number is 52 and he got 78 marks so this way it's a file and it can be stored as marks.txt and I am doing all sorts of manipulations like reading so now I can read from these and I can say that okay how much marks Vidisha got so I can read the file line by line and see okay Vidisha is the name so I can read her marks I can write so what we told and then many other things are possible so now let's see what we are supposed to do so first thing that we use is one very important thing is this file keyword and we define file star file pointer this is one of the most important thing we have to do so first thing is we have to open a file for doing anything we need a pointer so it's again if we see the memory map so file is a long list of bytes so let's say this is my computer memory layout this is memory location 100, 101, 102, 103, 104 till 200 and something is written in all these so this is hello is written and finally word something like this and file pointer to so it says that okay I'm starting at this my file is starting at this memory location 100 and now this is a character sequence and you have to read all of them so this is sequence of some characters some some numbers and I have to read so I define a pointer so this is a pointer file star of type file star and I say that okay it starts here so now what I have to do so I have to now tell so fp is equal to f open is the function I use and then tell it the file name which I want to open the file name which I want to open and the mode so what are these two words now so this is basically so whenever I have to read or write to a file I have to tell it the location okay so this file let's say it's test dot txt and it's stored in c drive slash documents and then let's say word so here we store it and what happens now is so we will give this path of the file here with the file name so we will write the complete path name so file name is is name of the file complete path slash file name so you have to give this one and the term mode tells that okay so is this for reading so there are different read I'm opening the file for reading only W is I'm opening the file for writing only and A is for appending or adding data at the end so when I open for reading so it starts at the beginning and I can read the lines I can read the characters when I open it in writing mode so if the file does not exist so it first creates the file with name file name and then it writes into it but if the file name already exists so it will clear every content and write new and then append is that okay I had something like hello word in my text so if I open it in the append mode so it will hello world today 
is Sunday. So this will be appended here. And we have some other modes like read pluses for uh, reading as well as writing, write pluses for writing and reading. So now we will look into F close and we define give it the argument file pointer. So if I give F close file pointer, so when I am writing something to the file which is the real memory in the file and I have something called a buffer. So whenever my computer writes, so it is writing in some buffer like hello, it's in the buffer and then it's pushed into the real hard disk. So this buffer when I do F close everything that was here in the buffer like hello world and only hello was written here. So after F close every buffer will go here. So hello world will be written here and this buffer will be closed for five file pointer will now not point to anything and this data is stored as file so this is about f close and then we come to so like let's say this is a file named test dot txt and i have something like Define here so hello and then world. This is hello world written in this file, and memory location is hundred, hundred one, hundred two. 103, 104, this is space, 105, 106, 107, 108, so this way the file is there in some memory location and then it is put in the buffer, so what we need to do is that I say that okay I define file star fp1 is equal to f open test dot txt and I open it in the write or let's say append mode. So what happens now my pointer will come here and I can now write something so I can say that okay put c some character say H and then FP1 so now what will happen is that a next letter which is H is added at 111 again I can do put C So this will again go and add so H and then O at 112. So what happens is that this is for writing one character at a time and then let's say I open the file file star fp2 is equal to f open test dot txt in read mode so now I say that okay so C char C is equal to get C fp2 so this C will now become equal to the first letter that is H then again let's say I do C is equal to get C fp2 so this statement will now shift this pointer from this place to the next one and now C will become E, this character E and it will go on. 
So this is the way for reading one character at a time. So next if we come to F print F and F can F. So they are for writing different types of data types so f printf i can do something like the file pointer i need to pass where i want to write then the control string and then the list of arguments so let's just take one example so if i do f printf fp percentage s percentage t percentage f and then i can say write a name which is a character array then age and then something like some float value so this will now write in the file one which is a one string will be written in the file it will be like in the append mode so the name let's say it was Sam then there will be age so let's say age was 25 and then the number 7.5 is written so this way it will be added so we will continue this lecture in the next class and for now we will end